This is cycle two, week three, for ages seven to nine, and it is the symbol of the calf, which is the symbol for St. Luke in the Book of Kells. And this is going to be an upside down drawing. So you're going to begin by having your upside down image of the calf inside of the envelope taped up on your whiteboard. And next to that, you can either draw a rectangle and put dotted lines across it, just like the paper that your students have, or you can simply print out an extra paper with dotted lines and tape that up next to your envelope. For this, you're going to pull out a section at a time and draw it with your students, but you don't wanna let them see what it is um, all, all at the beginning. So once you pull out the first section, you're gonna go ahead and begin the drawing with the kids. So you can ask them what kind of shapes they see, what kind of lines, things like that. And I'm going to begin by doing the drawing of the tail. Of course, they don't know it's a tail probably yet, um, but I'm going to start with that curve that almost touches the dotted line. And with that curve, I'm gonna start here at the point. I'm gonna go up and around towards the top of the paper and then come down to an angle. So I'll stop for the angle, go up, stop at the top of the angle and then curve down and around following the line I just did and completing that shape at the dot where I began. And at that same place, I can see that there's a line that comes down and touches the dotted line right below it. Over here, near the end of the shape we made, we see that there's a line that goes straight, comes down to the dotted line, but it's an angle, so I'm gonna stop at the angle, then turn back the other way. And then I see that from there, the line goes straight and curves down towards the dotted line right there. Now we have a few more things to do before we move on to the next section. One of them is that there is a curve that happens right in this section here. So I'll do a dot on the line where it begins, which is here, and then it goes over and ends right about here. So that's my beginning and ending point, kind of like a road map for my lines to go on. So I'm going to start by curving up and back over. And then we see that there's three circles and they're not filled in. So I'm gonna go one, second one next to it, and then just a little half circle below it. So that's basically the lines that the students will see to begin. And you can ask them what they think it is. Um, if they say it's a cow with wings, I will be very impressed with their guessing skills, um, but hopefully they don't know what it is yet. And you can pull up the next section to begin doing that one. If we go back over here to the left, we can see that where these two lines touch, now they continue on and curve at the bottom. So we'll kind of fill in the rest of that map there. If we go to this point here, we see that it curves in, down, and then actually touches the line that we made over there. So you can see where all the lines are starting to work together now. From this point here, there's a line that comes down to the other dotted line. Whoops, I'm gonna try that again. Comes down to the other dotted line. And then from here, there's also one, it's actually angled slightly more to the right, so I'm gonna take my line and go out more to the right. You can ask the students, and what else do we see now? We see a line that starts right here and it has curved and straight areas. So we're going to begin with the curved area. It becomes more of a straight line after that. And now there's some angles to deal with. So we're gonna angle down, stop, up, stop. And then we see that it kind of curves down and connects with the other line where the dotted line is meets right there. Okay. So that was our second section, whoops, except for we have to finish 
the other side of that circle there. We're going to connect those two. And what is this? It actually starts to look like a cow a little bit. So maybe they'll kind of get an idea about what it is. You can now pull up the next section of your paper out of the envelope and begin walking the students through that section. So we're gonna see a whole lot more stuff happening in more areas of the paper than we did before. Uh, oops, actually, on the last one, we forgot the triangles. I'm sure you guys probably saw that though. But I'll just go in and say, yep, triangle, that angle is down on that side, and a triangle that angle is down on that side. And now let's go to the next section. From the beginning of that triangle where it touches the dotted line, it just continues straight down. And this one just continues straight down as well. What happens at this point? I'm gonna look at my paper up on the board. I see that it just goes straight down as well. So begin to think about where the line is going, what it's doing, and be able to verbalize that out loud. So students, what does this one do? It keeps going, but it keeps going angled. So yeah, let's keep going angled out to the side and down to the dotted line. All right, before we keep doing the lines coming down from the triangle here, we have some other things to do here. So what do you see? Is it a curved line? No, it's a straight line. So let's go straight, 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 straight out. It comes down and touches the dotted line. It angles back up. And then it comes slightly down and touches the dotted line again at that point. All right, now we see some more lines back here. What kind of lines? Straight lines that come down and come down to touch the dotted line. This one comes down. I actually made my legs too short, so that should actually be going behind the foot. Now, what is this? It's a cow with a rocket ship. I don't know, let's see. Go to the next section and let's continue drawing. Over here on the left, what does this line do? It starts to come down just in a tiny, tiny bit. And then what happens right here? Huh, it kind of curves in and connects with that line there. Yep. What else do we see happening in this section? What kind of line? It begins by going straight and then curving up. Good. What happens here at the dotted line where these two met? It curves a little bit, comes down, and then goes over to the dotted line. All right, over to the other side. We have, starting out the dotted line here, the line comes down, then angles to the side. From here, it kind of does something similar, it comes down and it is angled, but then it curves over that way. We have what looks like a second leg happening in this area. What kind of lines? We have straight lines that go out. I'm gonna have to kind of do my best since my proportions were off, but I will just continue to draw the leg with the angled line. So angled line down, go back, and then go back in. Imperfections happen. And then we see that the line continues behind those shapes. So I stop at the shape and I continue on on the other side. Whoops, so it continues like that. And then the line continues down, down, down and meets at the dot. All right, we have some type of lines happening here and here, what kind? What can the students say it looks like? Maybe they can say it looks like fish scales or mountains. So let's go ahead and do those curved lines like they see it right there in that section. And again on the other side. And there. All right. Anything else we missed? 
Yeah, there's a little bit of a straight line there. A little bit of a curved line there. All right, last section. Do we know what it is yet? Maybe, maybe not. Let's pull up the last piece of the paper and finish up our drawing. Now, of course, finishing off these wings is fairly easy. You're going to do your curved lines that come up and connect those two there on both sides. However, the hard part is going to be the head of the calf. So let's start over here and just kind of continue his neck a little bit from there and there. All right, now let's look at all these complicated lines. Students, what happens, what's the line doing right around here? So you can say it starts at the neck, curves up to the dotted line, it curves down and goes straight just a little bit past that line there. Then what happens? It curves down. Uh -huh. Now it has a mouth. So to do the mouth, we're going to go in, go out to that line we just did, go past it, and up. Now for his nose, I'm going to start with a filled in dot. I'm going to go out, meet that line I just made, curve around, go back in, now comes the top of his head. So I'm going to go up or down because it's upside down and then curve around, around, around and meet where I began. Over on the left, we have four shapes. What are they like? Mm, kind of like triangles. Some of them are a little bit more like a curved triangle. So I start here at his head, angle out to the wing and back. Again, start where I just stopped curve out to the wing and back. This one curves out but doesn't touch anything and back and then kind of come to a point and back. We have a small filled in area on that. All right, what are we missing? His eye. So the eye we can say is in this bottom section of the head and we're gonna start with points. We're gonna to have to map it out so we know how big it is. It starts on the left and it ends over here on the right. That's gonna help our proportion be correct because we know how wide to make it. The lines are curved, point A to B, and now the other way, A to B. We have curved lines inside of it, like parentheses. And then inside we have a filled in dot. So we can always connect all the stuff back to the oils from week one. And then lastly, we have a curved shape that goes right under the eye, just like that. All right, so that is the calf. And of course it is wings because it's based off St. Luke. And so it was um, showing his sainthood by having those wings attached to it. And you can talk to the kids about the Book of Kells, why this drawing is so unusual, um, why it's famous, and just give some background information for that. And then have the students color it in with either uh, colored pencils or, or markers.